Let's now take a report, however, from Western Australia. In fact, it is on the WAFL. The teams are in order of how they finished last year. It's no surprise that three of the bottom four sides have changed coaches. Stan Magro takes over at East Perth. Big bad Mal Brown is back at South Fremantle. And West Perth have imported Jeff Geeshan from Wodonga, Victoria, who is highly regarded by Eagles coach Mick Malthouse. The signing of colourful football identity Mal Brown has caused the biggest stir among footy fans. The big Mal says he's mellowed and isn't planning any surprises on his return. Football is a game of emotion. You have to do it on the day. You do it as you see it. Uh, I think I've got too old for all that. I don't think I can keep up with the young guys anymore. Mal has made no secret of the fact that he would like to coach a second AFL team in Perth and his spot with the Bulldogs is the first step towards that goal. Joining Brown this season are seasoned AFL players Wally Matera and Mark Collins. Collins played with the Sydney Swans last year. Subiaco looks strong on paper, but the trick for coach Hayden Bunton is adjusting to the flow of Eagles players in and out of his side from one week to the next. We'll probably be uh, this year uh, up and down, not, not in form, but in, uh, in personnel because of our Eagles content. We've got, we've got 12 on the Eagles squad and... Uh, you know, you never know where you're going to get six or two, or which is the way the game is now. Perth enjoyed an exciting roller coaster ride into the final five last year, and once again, there are big expectations for the team. I think we have a problem from the point of view of uh, overall class. We just have to uh, persevere with the young guys, and I'm quite sure many of those by the end of the year will be uh, doing very well for us. Claremont devastated by the loss of nearly half of last year's grand final side to the AFL draft faced more pre-season drama when club president Lou Much resigned after club officials had gone behind his back to move Eagles and Tigers player Mark Hepburn to another WAFL club. There have been problems throughout last season over how Hepburn should be used by the Tigers when not required by the Eagles. Why, why has your own club turned their back on you? I don't know, or I don't know. As I repeat, I don't think there's any animosity there or anything like that. I think it's just a case of my opinion and their opinion. Former Claremont and Geelong great John O'Connell is the new Tigers president. And Hepburn is now with South Fremantle. Despite their mammoth player losses, Claremont are again tipped as the team to beat. East Perth hope cancer victim Peter Malesso will give their side plenty of inspiration. The former Eagle looks as though he's won his fight against the killer disease and hopes to play for the Royals sometime this season. Grant Retallick reporting on the changing state of football in the WAFL. No